Hello there everyone and welcome to the EVT week one team builder versus Dr. Slanking and his bowl and bone wines. Um, it should go without saying, Dr. Slanking is easily one of the toughest opponents here as uh, in UBL he is in playoff for very good reasons and um, while it was unfortunate we get to fight him, at the same time, you know, it is a losing battle, so it, it would just be for bragging rights because I realize exactly which type of situation I am in the second I'm going up against them. And with that said, as you guys can see on the screen here, the things we're going up against are Terrakion, uh, Manibus, Arachnid, Wimpsicott, um, Cabarage, uh, Toxtricity, Claydol, Quillfish, Charizard, and Rotom. See my eyes like that. Mm. Do I remember it? I don't. <laughs> but yeah, overall, a very threatening team. And um, when I planned for this battle, what I had in mind was which Pokemon do I absolutely don't want to see? Like, which Pokemon do I don't want to see to fend off against? And which Pokemon do I know will not make it? Uh, because I need to be more of a pinpoint variant this time around because the matchup is not in my favor. Uh, while I do have responses, I recognize that uh, my opponent here. Dr. Slacking has a lot of fair responses that push me back naturally and um, with that in mind that's how we're going to deal with this team. So, the things I don't believe come in are Copperage, Rotom and Clay Duel. The things I think are key threats versus me are Terrakion, Wemsicott and Toxtricity which is why they have a orange ring around them. The blue rings that's what Pokemon expect to be there but I don't necessarily are scared of them but it makes sense to bring them and both Arachnid and Charizard, for me, either one of them can make it. Uh, it doesn't necessarily matter. Um, as I don't see Arachnid, that means I don't need to prefer Sticky Web, which I mean, it is ideally better uh, to see Charizard. <laughs> the Charizard is a good speecher versus me, and uh, I don't switch in that well versus Flying Damage. So Charizard is something I could see very scary if uh, it is a variant that is potentially Scoff with Hurricane, then, you know, I need to watch out for that. Or even worse, like a dragon that's varying with your acrobatics and flailblades. But yeah, like I said, I don't. I'm not super scared of it, but it is a key threat, of course. Um, Terrakion. A scarf variant of Terrakion could absolutely eat me, and it's something I am scared of. Uh, I also fear a Soul Stance variant or you know, a Salt Vest variant. As uh, Terrakion overall, while it isn't phenomenal versus me, is a Pokemon that absolutely takes out things naturally. So I need a defensive response to that. Um, and then we have Whimsicott, which could either be Tailwind, which could be real annoying, or just that I don't have a proper switching versus Moonblast. Gengar is my like one response there, I guess, to an extent, Center Scorch. And while Center Scorch would have made a lot more sense for this battle, uh, it's a Pokemon I will avoid, actually. And then we've got Toxtricity, which Boom Burst. Boom Burst is awful. Uh, I like a Rock type, and I like a Rock. I usually have Rhydon or Rhyperior in a league. And not necessarily for Toxtricity, but having something like that would have helped. <laughs> uh, Quillfish can stack versus me, which is why I need to consider something like Defogging and whatnot. Um, so really, with that said, um, what I had in mind is um, in... Actually, something I didn't necessarily think of um, was edit while I record. So, <laughs> so you get a feeling for... What we're we going up against. Um, so, away with the camera. And uh, this is not looking as stellar as I kind of hoped it would be. So, sorry about this for a, for a little while. Um, don't worry. Once I figure it out, we go into a blast. So, anyway. <laughs> so, let's see if I can include myself somehow. Um, I promise I had a better idea at first. Uh, never mind. <laughs> so anyway, my team here is Hydreigon, Cabellion, Gengar, Primarina, Mamoswine, and a Rotom fan. Decided to not bring Zarina, decided not to bring Center Scorch, nor BHM or my ingredients. Which I really regret I got. <laughs> but uh, basically, my idea here was that um, Hydreigon, Scarf variant should be able to pressure my opponent quite well. Uh, as long as he doesn't have a Scarf, Hydreigon will own that speedster, but we will go timid over modest mainly in case he has just some kind of weird uh, creep on his Trachyon. Um And just overall, the extra bulk is not necessarily there, and the extra damage I've put 
it's not making that much of a difference versus the things it's gonna hit. Uh, Cobillion with uh, the Fighting Reduction Berry, um, something with C, uh, can't remember the name, I'm sorry. But basically it makes me able to stay, or to stay in versus track even if I'm forced to and soak a hit and retaliate with a close combat. Uh, I really hope he wins the speed here with that situation to go, because if he, if he is minus one, I should be able to knock him out. But if I go first, then uh, it's not going to be as pretty. Uh, Gengar, um, nasty plot on Corset. Basically, I want to force a potential um, play on either Madabas roosting against me or something like Arachman instead of Sticky Web, or even like if Whimsy can't go for potential um, Tailwind, I should be able to anchor that and lock him into that. Um, Nasty Blood is for obvious, and Shadow Ball and Dazzling Gleam makes perfect coverage. Even though Sludge Wave would have been nice, uh, I just I don't have the merits. Uh, Primarina, more defensive, set with Leftovers and Substitute with, with Moonblast, um, Psychic, and um, Scald. Um, nothing to it, um, bulky enough to deal with Trachyon and not being too it killed by a standard set. If it goes for Soul Stands, I'm still going to be able to survive that hit if Stone Edge isn't a crit, but uh, that was my main idea. So, a Mammoth Swine wants um, a Salt Vest variant with Eye Shard, Knock Off, Stone Edge, and Earthquake. Able to deal with everything on his team, and a Salt Vest should let me deal with um, a Boom Bursting Scuffed um, Toxtricity from the get go if that his lead, and it should be able to soak an Energy Ball from Whimsicott. Uh, besides that, like it can deal with Charizard. Like, like I said, if it is a Hurricane Spam variant, it's something I kept in mind um, to be able to kind of fend that off. But uh, that was my initial idea, and that's really all I had. Uh, Mammoth Swine is good for this matchup, but it's not perfect. Uh, and then I have Rotom Fan as my last Pokemon. And the idea here was to, uh, I say, hopefully, um, if he is defog or stick with web, I should be able to potentially defog. We have Shadow Ball to get it with the likes of Volt Switch, and then we have Pain Split. Um, I was considered Sharty Berry to reduce the Stone Edge damage from Terrakion, but it's, it was overly specific. And if you set up Stealth Rocks, it doesn't matter. My Rotom fan will just flatten by it, and uh, it just won't be worth it. Uh, we also are Speedy. It will outspeed a Speedy Quillfish. Uh, basically, to not let him get any momentum with Quillfish. So we can defog and ruin it for him. And uh, yeah, overall, I thought it makes sense at the time. The Shadow Ball is there for neutral damage, as a combination of Air Slash and uh, uh, Volt Switch will be reduced by, of course, clearly the toxicity would take. So I don't want, to want it coming freely. Uh, I was considered something like Shadow or me Foul Play, uh, but I realized that you know, we get a Justify boost and then you know, it, it's all over. <laughs> But yeah, overall, like my idea here is, um, I have a rough idea of what it wants to play with, and I hope I'm right. You know, if I see something like Play Duel or Rotom or Copper Rush, and these are just for that. Um, but I do recognize that Center Scorch kind of keeps a few of these Pokemon away, uh, and I really, really hope that's the thing. Um, but besides that, like I consider Center Scorch close to it, mainly because of Whimsicott, it's annoying. Uh, I am actively making myself vulnerable to to that Pokemon Wimps card and Trachyon is gonna be very very tough versus me. Uh, but that's it, that's a team builder. Um, join us of course tomorrow for the battle itself. So until then, have a great day and take care everyone.